out of one of the nation's 150 Portland cement plants rolls another load of one of the most vital building materials now urgently in demand. This plant, largest of the 150, is neither in Portland, Oregon, nor in Portland, Maine. It's the plant of the Huron Portland Cement Company, and it's in Alpena, Michigan, just about halfway in between. Cement plants are built near the sources of their raw materials, and this limestone quarry of the Wyandotte Chemicals Corporation provides Huron with one of the three or four basic ingredients of Portland cement. Other materials that go into Portland cement include silica, alumina, iron oxide, gypsum, and shale. In recent conservation experiments, the slag from blast furnaces has been found to be a suitable substitute for shale. The raw materials go first to the primary crushers, where the big boulders are knocked down to more convenient size. Eventually, before they leave the plant in the form of cement, the huge chunks of rock will be reduced to a powder that will pass through a sieve so fine it will hold water. From the primary crusher, skip cars haul the materials up to a conveyor belt that takes them on to other crushers and hammer mills. The conveyor that rolls endlessly toward the main plant is covered to prevent the wind from whipping crushed rock over the countryside. Control of dust is a problem the engineers of this vast establishment must work constantly to master. Moving along mechanically from one operation to the next, the raw materials are brought closer and closer to the form of powder. Finally, they're fed into a rotary kiln, where they meet a roaring blast of flame with a temperature of more than 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the slowly revolving kilns, certain elements are driven off, while the others, as they move from one end to the other, are fused into a new substance called clinker. After cooling, a new grinding is necessary, and the product that results is Portland cement. Into the holes of ships go thousands of tons of the powder daily, destined like as not for Portland, Maine or Portland, Oregon. For Portland cement was named not for any city, but for a certain stone it resembles, a stone to be found on the Isle of Portland off the British coast. Away goes another full cargo to meet a constantly increasing need for cement in the construction of homes, factories, highways, and nearly every other structure of peace or war.